I'm going to try Guinness Blonde American Lager. Normally I'm not a big uh, beer drinker. And I don't see that this is a twist off. Let me... I'll be all manly. Nope. Nope. Okay, so... It smells okay. Hmm. Five percent alcohol by volume. Okay, so it smells kind of crisp. I don't know. It's It's got kind of a funny aftertaste. Kind of a where the back of your throat meets the back of your nose. It kind of sits there kind of heavy. There is no real like first taste it's kind of thin which I mean it's it's a blonde you know it's supposed to be like a lighter thing than the regular Guinness so I suppose that's probably what they're going for but hmm. yeah I really only feel it right where the two connect the nose and the back of the throat it's almost, almost bad, <laughs> but not quite bad. I don't know, if, if I had to rate, like, from negative 10 to 10, negative 10 being I'm puking, Zero being probably water, and ten being, oh, I have to drink this every day, I'm addicted. It would probably only be like a... Oh, zero can't be water because I want to drink water all day. All day. Um, zero being like tasting like nothing. That's what I meant by water, I guess. Uh, probably like a two... Where it's on the good side of the scale, where it's not disgusting, but it's not, you know, like five or higher, where it's like, oh, I would go to a bar and drink that to get drunk or to maintain my buzz or whatever people who drink beer do. I'm not a beer drinker. I am a hard liquor drinker if I drink. I don't I haven't really drank to get drunk in the probably the last ugh, five years. I'm twenty eight and I had kind of a bad experience probably five or so years ago. I feel really old now. But uh this last Valentine's Day, just like a month ago, I did go out and um, drink a little bit on our, our main stretch of, of street. It's called Water Street that has a lot of bars at it. I kind of went bar hopping, but I didn't get drunk. I got really tipsy, but not drunk. I, uh was at a friend's wedding just a few days ago and I got sort of tipsy <laughs> but not drunk uh, if I do drink I drink Long Island iced teas 
that's pretty much it. Uh, I don't know, now that I keep drinking this, the taste gets worse and worse. Isn't that supposed to be like the opposite? I don't wanna... Yeah, <laughs> it gets worse. <laughs> um, hmm. I think I'd probably still stay at a two. I'm not going to demote it or anything, but for being a blonde, and I'm guessing supposed to be lighter, it still kind of sits. It says, a crisp, refreshing tasting beer with a rich, delicious flavor. See now, by rich they mean thick. Brewed in America in the Guinness tradition known only to our master brewers, with our famous Guinness yeast and mosaic and Willamette American hops. I have no idea. Uh, blah blah, normal warnings don't drink if you're pregnant, etc. Made in the USA. Pennsylvania, I guess it says. A crisp, refreshing tasting beer with a rich, delicious flavor. I guess the crisp can be, like when I first smelled it, it kind of smelled, you know, a little bit maybe crisp, but now that it's sitting, all I can think about is the word thick. It gets so heavy on the roof of my mouth. I don't know. Depending, I might bump it up to a three, but probably not. So, that is my review of Guinness Blonde American Lager.